Ultrasound Basics This section will review some of the basic information about acquiring and optimizing ultrasound images. It is not intended as a comprehensive program about ultrasound technology. 2D Imaging Two-dimensional ultrasound imaging allows the visualization of cardiac structures and devices within the heart in grayscale. By using multiple crystals and electronic steering of the ultrasound beam, multiple lines of information can be collected and collated to display ultrasound information in two dimensions with motion. 2D imaging is commonly referred to as real-time imaging because cardiac structures and motion are seen. 2D gain the 2D gain knob increases or decreases the amplification of received echoes. It changes the overall brightness of the image. DGC, depth gain compensation. The DGC or depth gain compensation allows for the fine adjustment of specific zones within the image by increasing or decreasing the amplification of echoes at different depths. It compensates for losses in signal strength as the ultrasound signal passes through anatomical structures. Depth The depth knob increases or decreases the field of view. The appropriate depth setting will depend on the image view, the size of the heart and patient, and the location of the desired imaging target. Frequency the imaging frequency you select affects both the resolution and penetration of the image. The higher the frequency, the higher the resolution or detail seen in structures. Frequency is inversely related to penetration of the ultrasound signal. That is, the higher the frequency, the lower the penetration. For the best image quality, use the highest frequency possible that maintains sufficient penetration throughout the entire image. Color and Spectral Doppler Color Doppler mode displays the motion of blood flow within the heart produced by a shift in frequency known as the Doppler shift and is used to measure blood flow velocity and direction. Color Doppler encodes the mean velocity to aid in the interpretation of blood velocity and direction. Think of color flow mapping as an estimation of velocity rather than a precise calculation. The color Doppler velocity bar represents direction and velocity of blood flow. The black line at the center of the color Doppler bar indicates zero measured velocity. The colors shown in the upper portion of the color bar represent flow towards the transducer, in this example seen in shades of red, and the colors in the lower portion represent flow away from the transducer in shades of blue. Deeper shades indicate lower velocities. Lighter shades at the top of the bar indicate higher velocities. Mean velocity scale indicators appear at each end of the bar. Spectral Doppler. Spectral Doppler mode detects peak velocity information that allows for the quantification of the velocity of blood flow at a specific location using one of two different methods, pulsed wave, PW, and continuous wave, CW Doppler. It provides complementary information to color Doppler and 2D imaging in the assessment of valvular obstruction and other heart lesions. The resulting output strip is a graphic representation of the varying velocity profiles displayed over time. Pulsed wave, PW Doppler. The PW Doppler signal shown here is being used to evaluate the blood flow within this pulmonary vein. PW Doppler measures the frequency shift in a small volume of cells contained within a sample gate. This makes it possible to selectively study the velocities within different cavities and valve areas. The maximum velocity that can be measured using PW Doppler is limited because of a phenomenon called frequency aliasing. Aliasing can be observed in various cardiac conditions that produces very high velocity blood flow. Continuous wave CW Doppler. This example of CW Doppler allows for the calculation of peak velocity. CW Doppler does not have the aliasing limitation of PW Doppler and can be used to characterize very high velocity blood flow. CW Doppler can determine the maximum or peak velocity through a specific valve or chamber within the heart. But because it does not utilize a sample gate, as in PW Doppler, it is incapable of determining the exact location of very high velocities. 